Hey everyone, I am back with a fun Amazon fall fashion haul and try on. Most of these pieces are brand new. I've thrown in a few old faves that carry over year after year, season after season. Everything is listed in the order in which I share it here down in the description box where it says more under my head. I also pin it to the top of the comments so it is easier for you to find. Everything is numbered up here with the corresponding number down there. I will also include current measurements and sizing to help you figure out what size would work best for you since you'll be ordering all of this online. So let's start with a little work wear. I will admit most of the time I'm extremely casual work from home kind of girl. I do get the occasional requests for a work wear outfit. Here you go and here's one that you don't need to wear heels with. So first off is this Amazon house brand satin blouse. Now when I hear satin I think shiny. This is not. I feel like it's a much more wearable satin shirt. I decided to size up to a medium and pretty much a straight small in standard sizing, but I am larger chested and I was a little concerned there could be some gaping. I also wanted a little extra material to blouse. I don't feel like the sizing up was necessary. So unless you like a lot of extra material or you want a little extra length, I would say you're totally safe going with your true size. As far as sizing goes, like I said, I sized up to a medium, but this runs extra small all the way to 6X and it comes in a bunch of different colors and patterns as well. I like kind of almost like a French cuff situation. You can fold the cuffs back. They still stay buttoned, but they're a little more maneuverable. You know, sometimes when you button those cuffs, you can't move them up, they're very tight. These are really nicely fitted with an, enough room to move things around. And then I paired them with these very popular viral high waist wide pleated trousers. Now these come in a huge size range, extra small to 2X, but then every single size also comes in a shorter length. So I decided to try them in the extra small short based on the size guide and I guessed correctly. Now. I would only wear the short if I'm going to wear flats. I am five foot four. They just skim above the ground. I think these would look like floods if you are wearing them with heels if you're about my height. But a lot of you have been asking for more petite friendly options and these pants are great because like I said, they come in a short option in all of the sizing. Now, if you wanna wear these with heels and you're my height or taller, I definitely recommend getting the regular length. These are very comfortable pants. They're very fluid and drapey, have a little bit of elastic in the back. They fasten with a zipper and button up the front. Great for work wear, but you could very much tone these down, pair them with some white sneakers, a graphic tee, and throw a blazer over it. It's a totally different look, and I think it would be a really fun one too. And for the flats, I am wearing these ballet flats. Now, ballet flats are a very much on-trend shoe happening this fall. I will admit, not a huge fan of the silhouette. But if you're going to wear a pair of ballet flats, these are super comfortable. They have a padded heel. They have memory foam insoles. They come in a ton of colors. I chose sort of this champagne gold. I think it's just a little more fun, kind of a different kind of neutral, if you will. I just don't love a rounded toe on me. I feel like it makes my feet look a little stumpy. My legs look a little shorter. But if you love a round toe and you love a ballet slipper, I very much recommend these. Obviously they're very affordable being from Amazon. I like that they have the nice rubber sole, really comfortable to walk around, stand in, and the color options. There are 22 colors and all the sizes come in regular width and wide width as well. And I would say they run true to size. Now this next round of outfits all revolve around cargo pants or utility pants. I have a favorite pair that I've been wearing over, well actually two, that I've been wearing over and over and over and they're both from Walmart and they go in and out of stock. So a lot of you have asked me if I could find something similar over on Amazon in a similar price point. So I ordered four different pairs of cargo pants and if you see tags on them, is because I was debating whether or not I was going to keep all of them. Let me know in the comments below which ones you think I should keep. But anyway, I, I will note which cargo pants you're seeing. They'll be numbered and then they'll be numbered down below. And while they might not work for me in a certain pair, they might be exactly what you're looking for. I am your guinea pig, so let's go. Now, before we get into this first pair of cargo pants, let's talk about the top. It's one of the Amazon house brands. The material is called a fluid twill, which means it's very lightweight. It kind of feels like tensile, very drapey, very soft, very fluid, comes in a bunch of solids, patterns. I love this play on a tartan. It has beautiful greens, blues, purples. It'll layer nicely under something as well. A little bit of a mock neck and it has a button with an elastic loop at the back of the neck. I would say it runs true to size. I'm wearing mine in a size small. All right, now let's get to the pants. 
So these cargo pants are the number one best-selling cargo pants on Amazon. And I will admit they're possibly my least favorite of the four, but that's because I guessed wrong on the sizing. I would say these run big. So like I've mentioned, generally a size small in most things, size four in pants as well. And so I went with that for these, they run big. I think I would feel differently if I got these in an extra small. I may just exchange these and give the extra small a try. And when that happens, I'll probably update you over on Instagram stories. So be sure you're following me over on Instagram so you don't miss that update. Other than I got the sizing wrong, let's try to overlook that part. The material is really nice. It's a thinner material, it's not stiff. I like that they're not particularly bulky because the, these are a wider leg silhouette and sometimes that material can get really overwhelming and add just more weight to your frame. Remember, these are a size too big. I still don't think they do that. I love the color. Now this comes in a bunch of other colors if you don't like this one. 13 colors to be exact. The size ranges from extra small to double XL. They have a front zip and an elastic waist. They're comfortable, just the size chart was a little ambiguous. Let's move on to the next pair of cargo pants. First, we'll talk about the top. This is one you've seen before in several colors because I bought it, I believe, last fall. I have it in this taupey light brown, white, black, again, comes in a bunch of colors. This is gonna be one of those tops that you will want to have in a bunch of basic colors. They will wear very well on their own, but they also layer great under all the things we like to layer, denim jackets, utility jackets, anorex, blazers, you name it. It's just a great closet staple to have. It's a great price point. It runs true to size and it's a thinner material, so you won't get overheated when you're layering things on top of it. And it's great for a Texas fall because it looks like fall, but it's very lightweight. Now on to the cargo pants. Okay, this is a very, very, very popular brand on Amazon. I've shared stuff from this brand before. These run very short. So if you are short, like 5'4 or under, you may love these because these might be exactly what you're looking for. I feel like they're a little too short on me even to wear with flats. They do come in eight colors. I am wearing the size small. They go all the way up to extra large, so the size range isn't as large, but it is an option, especially if you need something in a shorter length. I think you will love these. And these also have sort of a button or snap front and then an elastic waist in the back. Moving on to the next cargo pant outfit. First, we'll start with the top. If you're keeping track, it is number eight. Again, another old favorite. This is great year round. For me, my fall, like I said, it's still in the 90s. So I want materials that look more like fall but are wearable for my climate. So this is a thermal sort of waffle knit short sleeve though. Of course, it comes in a bunch of colors and a bunch of sizes, small to 2XL, which is nice. I think 42 colors. So there's a color for everyone there. It's great for layering into the fall and winter, especially because it's short sleeve. So if you do tend to run hot, it's a little less material in the sleeves. Now let's talk about the cargo pants, which are I think number nine as we're moving through all of these. These are tied for my favorite. The only thing I don't love, some people go crazy for this, are the ties at the ankles. So I feel like they're a little long, even if I tie them into a cute little bow, they're still kind of hanging and dragging on the ground. Easily remedied, I can just take a scissors to them and make it a little bit shorter. The material is heavier. These are more of a true twill. So if you're looking for that kind of cargo pant, these are perfect for you. These very much remind me of a pair of utility pants I had from Anthropology from their Pilcrow line. Obviously these are not over $100. I think these are a great length. Again, if you are 5'4", five, 5'5", five, five, maybe a little bit shorter, I'm worried that these might run a little too short if you're taller, but if you don't pull those strings tight and make it more gathered on the bottom, you'll have a little more room to work with on the length. But those ties at the bottom do give you a little more options, a little more ways to customize the fit of the pants. And I'm bringing back another old favorite that is going viral on the internet again. This is a long open front, sort of like blazer sweater jacket thing. Very similar to some sweaters we've seen at J. Crew over the years, obviously because it's Amazon, totally different price point. I ordered this last year. It is becoming very popular again this time of year. I would say that if you are petite under 5'4", this could get a little overwhelming. It is pretty long, but if you are looking for a sweater jacket type option for fall, this is very cozy and lightweight and I would say it runs true to size. 
Now let's talk about the last outfit wearing cargo pants. Let's first talk about the top. I love this sweater. If you have the opportunity to start wearing sweaters, you need this. It is lovely. And it has the look of almost like an Angora sweater, but it's not that like overly soft, almost itchy feeling. It's soft and cozy, but not to where it's shedding like an Angora sweater. Comes in a bunch of colors. I love the oversized cuffs that are rolled up. They are tacked down so you can't unroll them. I think this would look great with leggings. I think this would look great with jeans. The sweater is super versatile. I love it in the white. And then I've paired them with probably my favorite of all the utility slash cargo pants. The reason why I love these the most, I like the ankle ties. They do give you options. You can make the legs wide all the way down and wear them with boots you know, pull over a shoe. You can make them almost like a jogger style, wear them with flats and the ties themselves are a lot thinner and shorter and more manageable. The fabric on these is also a lot more lightweight, billowy. I think it just drapes a little more nicely. It's a little more flattering, but again, I've given you four options. Hopefully you'll find something that you like in the cargo option that is in stock. And then I paired this outfit with another shoe silhouette that is very, very popular right now. And it is the chunky Chelsea boot. Now these come in black, white, this tan, and then more cool toned brown. These are pull on. They're really comfortable. Just like the ballet slippers, these have a memory foam insole, lug sole, not like the ballet slippers, but rubber. So really comfortable, easy to pull on because of this elastic. I think it's called a gusset. I am not all in on the Chelsea boot, but these I very much like. They're really comfortable and I might explore getting these in another color. I would say they run true to size. And I like these because they're a little bit taller, so when you're wearing the straight leg jeans that nobody knows how to put a pair of shoes with, there is a very awkward style of jean to pair with shoes, the taller Chelsea boot will layer underneath the jean and just kind of bridge that gap if you don't have the length just right. So I really like this option. Okay, we are done with cargo pants. I bet you never wanna see a pair of Arma Green cargo pants again. And I purposely ordered them in all the same color so that we wouldn't get distracted by different colors. I wanted to kind of control what you were seeing so we could compare apples to apples. But moving on to two, I don't wanna call them loungewear sets, let's just call them sets. The first set is most definitely loungewear. I believe I ordered this in black and a lot of you said you wanted to see it in a different color because black is hard to see on camera. And I would happily order this set in every color it comes in. And it comes in 26 colors. As you know, I work from home. If I'm not in front of the camera, loungewear is my go-to and this is so comfortable. I like that it looks a little more like actual clothing and not just pull on pajamas. It's a Henley style with the buttons, no pockets. It's very, very comfortable. I would say it runs true to size. I'm wearing mine a size small, it goes up to extra large in the sizing. I also like that the top is very much wearable paired with just about anything else, with any of those utility pants or cargo pants that I just showed you, pair of jeans, joggers. You get a lot of wear out of the set, break up the set and wear it as two individual pieces. And then the other set should look vaguely familiar because this is the fall winter version of my spring summer chunky sweater travel set. This is just the long sleeve version. This doesn't have quite the size range. It runs from small to extra large and comes in eight colors. I have all the details below of like which colors I've ordered on all of these things by the way because it can get a little tricky on Amazon. It doesn't always line up to what you think the color should say. I love this. I cannot wait to wear it somewhere. I just have to wait until I can wear it without having a hot flash as I'm wearing it. But I love this. It's a different brand than the short sleeve version that I ordered. The legs are a little more billowy, but I like how they drape and it's just, it's a beautiful set. You're probably gonna see it on every social media influencers feed all over Instagram, if you haven't already. And then the last outfit I have to actually try on for you is this dress. This is a corduroy dress. I love it. I'm showing it with the belt that it came with. Now the belt actually buckles, but I just decided to tie it almost like a trench coat. It functions like a shirt dress. These buttons go all the way down. You could also unbutton the cuffs and roll them up. I'm planning on actually wearing this. One of the nights of the LTK conference coming up is a Western theme night hosted by Lucchese. I do have a pair of Lucchese tall cowboy boots and I thought I would wear it with this. 
We shall see, I have another option. Be sure you are following me on Instagram because I'm gonna vlog all of that over on my Instagram stories while I'm there. I love this dress for fall. It is so fun, it is so comfortable. I love corduroy for fall and the colors that this comes in. It was hard to pick. It does come in six options and it runs true to size. I should say that this belt is also removable, so if you wanna swap it out with a Western style belt or just a basic leather belt, you can do that too. I wanna to talk about a couple more accessories that I didn't get to try on for you. And again, I will do that coming up over on Instagram. So make sure you are following me over there or just on the LTK app, it'll eventually get posted there as well. First is this bracelet stack. I have shared similar stacks from another brand and the stacks can run into the hundreds of dollars. This is Amazon, so it does not. And I believe there are five color options, but this one in the brown is the most fall friendly. There's a black and white, there's a multicolor, but I love this. It has a couple of gold bead ones and then two of the brown kind of plated, I call them plated, like the round flat beads, a taupe, and then what looks like glass, but obviously it's some sort of plastic, but very affordable. It goes with all the fall things. I love it. Then I have gotten requests over the years for more affordable options for riding boots, and I found these, and I promise I will style these in an outfit probably over on Instagram before I get back to showing them on YouTube, so bear with me. These are from an Amazon house brand. They are obviously faux leather. They have a lug sole rubber, so really nice if we have inclement weather. There is like a half zip happening here and there's a loop here to help you pull them on and off. They come in this dark brown, tan and black as well. They have the padded memory foam insole. They're really comfortable and again, they run true to size. And then I'm gonna do something a little bit differently. I have a few pieces that I wanna share. They are all inspired by high-end brands there is a little bit of a wait time on them. So I ordered these a couple of weeks ago and they're still a couple of weeks out, but I wanted to share them with you now because it takes so long for them to get in, unlike you know most Amazon products that are here in a couple of days. In case any of these pique your interest, you can place your order. We know Amazon returns are really easy and I will share these in next month's Amazon try on haul, but I wanted you to be aware of these because like I said, I think they're really popular. They're gonna get even more popular and that wait time is going to increase. So the first one is this beautiful short sleeved velvet dress. I really hope it comes before I have to leave for the conference. I'd like to bring that along as an option. When I saw this, it reminds me a ton of the Anthropology Somerset dress that they are now showing in corduroy. It looks a lot like the velvet. The Anthropology version is like $160. This one is just under 40. So I took a guess and ordered it in the small. It comes in sizes small through extra large and the colors are exquisite. Can't wait to see that in person. Then the next few pieces are all definitely inspired by the Spanx Air Essentials line. You know how much I love the Spanx Air Essentials line. I live in it when I travel. I live in it when I'm lounging around in the house. And I also know that it is not the most affordable price point. I've been looking for dupes. I know that's not a word we're supposed to use. I've been looking for lookalikes. That's the word. And uh, I think I found a couple of options. So the first is a two-piece loungewear set. Looks a lot like the half zip and the wide leg pants. The nice thing about this, other than obviously it's much less expensive at around $55, is that the Amazon version has pockets in the pants and none of the Spanx pieces do. So that is an extra bonus. And they come in sizes extra small through 2XL. I ordered mine in a navy size small. Cannot wait to share those with you. And then the last lookalike that I found for the Spanx Air Essentials line is their cocoon sort of open front cardigan. I brought this along with me when we went to Taos and I lived in it, wore it as a jacket, wore it around the room just to be cozy in. It comes in four colors, sizes small through XL. I also ordered this in a navy small and it's $43. So I cannot wait to see what that looks like in person and share that with you as well. So those were my finds. I think I found some really, really good ones this month. There's lots more to come as far as lifestyle and all that other fun stuff. So be sure you are subscribed so you don't miss any of the updates. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you found something interesting or at least had some fun with me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.